My name is Angela Reynolds and I'm the chair of the Mathematics Division here at Gulf Coast State College. Now I know many of you are not interested in a career in mathematics, but mathematics is a general education course. By general education course, that means everyone has to take mathematics regardless of what your degree. Now what we've done is broken down the required math according to your major area, and we call those meta majors. Now if you're not a STEM or a business major, the good news for you is if you come in and you're college ready with your math courses, that means that you only have to take two math classes to complete your degree. And also, if you're not college ready, we only have one developmental course that you'll need to complete, and then you will be ready for your college level courses. So let's take a look at the courses for the non-STEMS major. So if you're not planning to major in one of the math, science, engineering areas, or business, if you need a developmental course, if you need to refresh your course for your math, you can take one of our developmental courses. And once you've completed that course, then you are ready for your two college level courses to give you your six credit hours of mathematics. And you basically have three courses that you would choose from. We have a liberal arts course, we have a survey of mathematics, and for you history buffs, I would recommend the survey of a mathematics course. We talk a lot about the history of math for that course. And then a popular course that a lot of our students choose is the statistics course. So if you're not a STEMS major, then any two of these courses will satisfy the six hours of math that you need for your area. Now for our business majors, business you're gonna need a little bit more math. If you come in, you're not ready for your college level courses, you could take the developmental course. Again, after you complete that course, you're ready for a college level course. Now business requires statistics, so statistics is a course that you would take. And based upon your placement test score, you may or may not need to take intermediate algebra. And once you've completed the intermediate algebra, then you could go to your college algebra, and after college algebra, then you're ready for your business calculus course. So the two requirements for business majors are business calculus and statistics. But again, depending upon where you start, that will determine how many math courses that you need. And of course, for our STEMS majors, we offer up to calculus three and differential equations that you'll need for those majors. So for our STEM majors, engineering, computer science, those areas, again, depending upon where you start with the placement test, we have a developmental course. From there, you could go to the 1033. From there, that leads to college algebra. And from college algebra, you could go business calculus, trig, and then you'll be ready for the calculus one. Now, if you are a psychology major, your path is just going to be a little different. So it's important to talk with your academic advisor to make sure that you're on the right pathways. But again, let's get back to the Calculus 1, then you'll be able to take the Calculus 3 course and the Differential Equations course. And what I want you to know is that these courses are the same courses that are offered at the university, the same course, same content. So if you are not really comfortable with taking math with your regular class load, one option would be to maybe take the math with us during the summer. So if you're home for the summer and you wanna pick up that math class to get it out of the way, that's also another opportunity that you will have. Another thing that I wanna share with you is for our students here at Gulf Coast, we offer help in the math lab for our students. And this help is available to our students free of charge. We have professional people with degrees in math or a math related field that's here to help you. And we also have some students tutors who've experienced the same classes that you've experienced, so they would love an opportunity to be able to help you meet your goal of obtaining 
the six hours that you need in your math courses. And the last thing I would like to share with you is, of course, you know, we have the science, the engineering majors, but some areas that you may not have thought about that requires math would be a database administrator. And the average salary for a database administrator is $87,000. Another math area would be a financial analyst, and those starting salaries start at around 84000 and a market research analyst average salary is $63,000 per year. So there are lots of paths, lots of careers and opportunities that are available for you in the area of math. So even if you like math, but you're not thinking about maybe a engineering track or a chemist, a physics track, there are other tracks that you can go with for the area of mathematics. All right, I hope today is a good day for you, and as always, go Commodores!